You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop of St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father for, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is that he may grant you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through the Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses all knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his ways? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, Lord teach me your, your statutes. statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinance of your mouth. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. In the ways of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, Lord, teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples. Do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever reports himself will be humbled and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Well, today we celebrate the feast day of St. Bonaventure, and he was a 13th century saint, ended up becoming a bishop. He was a Franciscan at the age of 19, entered the Franciscan life. And that's kind of a wild thing, you know? It, it's. It's pretty cool to think about how young so many people, so many of the saints, made their decision to follow Christ in some radical way, right? Like, it wasn't, they didn't wait till their mid-30s. 
Uh, they did it young. And Bonaventure became a Franciscan in 19. At 22, he made his final vows, became a priest shortly thereafter. And um, he knew that he gave his life to Jesus, and he said, Jesus, wherever you take me, I'm going. And uh, sure enough, he did. Well, anyway, then one day he became a bishop. He was a very young bishop. And, um, and then he even became a cardinal. Uh, the guy wrote a lot of theological works, but his favorite virtue is humility, which is probably why our gospel is what it is. Jesus says, whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. And humility, St. Bonaventure would say, humility is the beginning of all virtue. Like, if you don't get that one, then you won't get any of them. And he said that includes the theological virtue. Because if you're not humble, then you won't pray and you won't have love for Jesus or love for another person. And if you don't, if you're not humble, you won't have faith because you think you don't need faith because you can take care of everything yourself. Thank you very much. And you won't need hope because you know. And so Bonaventure became, uh, or Bonaventure was very interested in that virtue of humility. And he looked at the humility of Jesus as uh, his example. And so we follow in that as well, my friends, today, and we ask that the good Lord will look upon us and that we will grow in our humility, knowing that every virtue follows that. Let's stand for our prayers. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his intentions, his safety, and his health, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our civic leaders, all who serve society, especially police officers, firefighters, all the doctors and nurses, uh, everybody who looks out for the common good, may they be strengthened in their service. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all Franciscans on this feast day of St. Bonaventure. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those suffering, especially those who are in hospitals and hospice care, those who are homebound and hungry, homeless, those who have no faith those who have no family or friends. We pray to the Lord. We pray for an end to war, and we pray that peace might soon reign in this world, and we pray also for an end to senseless violence. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for a generous increase in vocations to the priesthood and the religious life, especially from our own parish. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for Joyce Thoman, the intention of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God and Father, we place before you these and all the prayers of our hearts. In your mercy and love, we ask you to answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of Blessed Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, 
and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the angels and the, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. I know we have some visitors with us, some guests. If you're not Catholic or not in a good state of grace, then if you are, uh, when you come up to communion, just go like this, and that way I'll pray a prayer of blessing over you uh, instead of Holy Communion.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, as you notice, we have our high schools with us today. We're going to follow the day. So let us pray. May Hail Mary ask for a safe journey there and a wonderful time. And a safe journey home. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. In high school, as well, we call Holy Mass. Uh, just genuflect on your way out to our Lord and follow up to the bus. And make sure that you have your mask on uh, for the bus ride. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. High schoolers, you might want to go to the bathroom before we leave because we're not going to stop. So go to the hall if you need to go to the bathroom. <laughs>